y'all welcome to my youtube channel today is friday june 28th and today i am going to be filming a vlog because i really have no idea what the heck i am going to get into today but before we hop into the rest of the video i thought i would start this video off with a little bit of a life update it has been over a week since I've actually like sat down in front of the camera and chatted with y'all and a lot has gone on so let's get started. <laughs> so as you may or may not know last week I was in Bermuda for three days. We went over there to fish but two of the three days the wind was blowing so so hard we could not put the boat in the water and go fishing but we made the absolute most of it we went snorkeling we went cliff jumping we went booze cruising we just had so much fun we finally got the fish on the last day and the waves were crazy to say the least but we had so much fun and I cannot wait to go back I flew home on Monday of this week and that was a very long travel day we had a 30 minute taxi ride to the airport from there I had three different plane rides until we landed in New Orleans, Louisiana. From there, I had a 45 minute Uber to my friend Cammie's house. And then from there, I picked up my truck and had a two hour drive to Mobile. It was like a 14 hour day of travel, but I was home safe. So Tuesday, I spent all day just resting up because I was exhausted. <laughs> So the next topic I wanted to talk about is dairy free. So as y'all know, I did that little vacation slim down for nearly two weeks before I went to Bermuda and I cut dairy out of my diet. And while I did lose weight, I lost about eight pounds over the course of those two weeks. I just realized that I cannot keep dairy out of my diet. I saw it working, I lost a little bit of weight, I was feeling good, but you know what? I feel sad when I feel excluded from so, so many foods. Keto is already restrictive enough as it is, and whenever I cut out cheese and cream and just like everything that makes keto, you know, worth it to me, I just was like sad. I didn't wanna eat, so I just wasn't eating because nothing sounded appealing to me and that's not healthy, so I have reintroduced dairy back into my diet. I didn't bloat up like crazy. I didn't feel terrible when I ate dairy for the first time after those two weeks, and so yeah, I have reintroduced dairy back into my diet because I can't live without it, y'all. I love supporting the dairy industry. <laughs> okay, last thing, so today is Friday, and Sunday morning, I'm actually flying to Colorado Springs, Colorado to meet my family. We are doing a camping trip in Winter Park, Colorado with the National Sports Center for the Disabled. But my mom, my dad, my brother, my two aunts, my two uncles, their children, they're all making the 18 hour drive up to Colorado. Well, I decided to skip out on that really fun sounding 18 hour drive. So I'm just gonna fly to Colorado and meet them there. But it should be a really fun time. We're going canoeing, we're doing whitewater rafting, we're hopefully playing disc golf in the mountains. It's gonna be so much fun. So that is the next adventure I'm going on and I haven't thought a lick about packing, so I've gotta get into that today. But oh my golly, I am so sorry. I have talked your darn ears off. Let's get this day started and I have no idea what I'm going to do. Let's go. The other day I made an impulsive Amazon purchase and I thought I would share it with y'all. Check it out. Rhinestone slides. Oh, look how sparkly they are. For some reason, these were suggested to me on Amazon and yeah, I impulsively bought them. Just look at them, they're so sparkly and cute and they look good on me because I'm super tan right now. Are they cute? I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. They're not that comfy, but you know what? They're cute. I can take a cute picture in them, right? I'm sure y'all have missed my sweet little bow updates. Y'all are always very upset with me when I don't include him in one of my YouTube videos. So here he is in all his glory. 
poor guy had to go to the vet earlier this week because his little skin problems are showing back up again. And he only cost me like $400 at the vet to get his Cytopoint injection and his antibiotics. It's no fun, buddy. But he's on the road to recovery. Right, bud? Right. For the past couple of hours, I have been doing nothing exciting, but I did get a video edited and I've gotten a lot of my emails responded to, so that is a win in my book. It is now nearly two o'clock and I am getting hungry and I don't really have much in the fridge. Cody has my car because his car wouldn't start this morning, so I can't leave and go pick up something at the grocery store to cook. But I do have this Real Good Foods cauliflower crust pizza. So I have been wanting to try this. I picked this up a couple of weeks ago and it's just been taking up a lot of space in our freezer. We need that space because I have like five Ziploc bags full of fish in there right now. No space at all. But their crust has been reformulated. So a little while ago the crust was not very good on their pizzas. They heard everyone's feedback and they've redone the crust. So I'm excited to try the new crust and see how it tastes. I just pulled the pizza out of the oven after about 20 minutes. And I mean, it looks delicious. The crust did crisp up, so that is a major plus. I'm gonna let it cool down for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to give it a try. I just cut myself a little piece of this cauliflower crust pizza and let's give it a try. Cheers. I like that the crust isn't soggy. It holds, like see, it's not like falling apart when I'm flapping it around everywhere. I'd definitely eat it again. Mmm. <laughs> Final take, we'll definitely buy this again when I'm craving a pizza. It's delicious, crust is crispy. I don't have anything bad to say about it. Awesome job, Real Good Foods. So much better than the first crust that y'all came out with. When I get cowboy boots, I have a tendency to get the ones that are the most over-the-top, crazy boots, and I think these fit the bill. They got fringe all down the side of them. They have Swavorsky crystals on the front of them that just bling all pretty. Oh my gosh, are these not beautiful? I love boots. These are going to be perfect for the country music festival I am going to here in a couple of weeks. So I cannot wait to plan an outfit to go with these. Y'all, there is a huge storm all of a sudden that just blew in. And there's lightning and thunder and it's scary. Holy moly. It was really hot outside today and when it's really hot here on the coast all of a sudden severe thunderstorms will just pop up out of nowhere and like explode across the area. So it was like a pretty sunshiny day and all of a sudden it started clouding up and then it just turned into this severe thunderstorm with like 40 to 50 mile per hour winds, there was flooding signs were being blown down. It was pretty intense and pretty crazy. So Cody and I, for like the past two and a half hours, we've just been sitting on the couch watching season two of Girls Incarcerated on Netflix because they just released that. And if you haven't seen it, Cody and I love the little prison shows. Go check it out. <laughs> but now it is currently 7.25. I'm about to whip up something to eat because Cody and his brother and his brother's friend and me, they have all decided that it's going to be a great evening to go fishing in the industrial canal where we launch our boat. So I think I'm going to mostly watch tonight, but I figured I'd go along for the ride. It should be fun. So, so I'm going to make myself something for dinner and we're going to go out on the boat. Wish us luck. Hey Bobo, do you want to go on the boat? You want to go on the boat? You love the boat, it's your favorite. You want to go fishing? 
He does! Girl. He does want to go fishing! Here we have a wild Cody trying to figure out how to get ice for our boat. So we were paying nearly 10 bucks to fill up our ice chest every time we went out on the boat. Well, we figured out there's this machine called a Twice the Ice, and you can get 20 pound bags of ice for $2. So I highly recommend Twice the Ice if you ever gotta get ice because it's so much cheaper than gas station ice. And it just like puts itself into a bag or you can put it into a cooler. Literally best thing ever. Why did I have no idea about this? We're here at the Theodore Industrial Canal at the Deer River Bait and Tackle Shop about to launch the boat and do a little bit of fishing this evening. We're not going out into the bay. We're staying like right here in this little canal where it's very lit up so we're safe. It should be fun. Bo is all excited right now because he just spotted the neighborhood cat. <laughs> the tide is super, super low right now. The water's way down there. We got Captain Kyle captaining tonight. There she goes. You ready to go fishing? You ready? There she goes. We got the boat in the water. We got Cody and Kyle back there. And we got Bo right here. And we're just going down this canal a little bit. As you can see, it's very lit up, which is why I'm okay with coming out here. But we're gonna try and catch us some fish. Back up, back up, reverse. We're falling under us. Ow. Bo is living his dream right now. We just caught a couple mullet in the cast net. Cody's about to release them though. But Bo had to smell them. He's in heaven. What is that, Bo? Is that a fish? Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little bit all over the place, but it is what it is. My life is crazy. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.